Hello everybody, what is going on? Jimmy here back with another video. Hope you guys are all doing well. Today, my friends, we're gonna be talking about something that I think a lot of people didn't really think about, but I have been seeing some people talk about it, so I did wanna make a video on it nonetheless. What if Pokemon Legends Arceus is a Switch Pro exclusive? Now, I know what you're thinking. Why in the world would Nintendo, Game Freak, the Pokemon company in general, why would they wanna limit their profits that far? Why would it be a good idea to hold off from releasing it on the previous generation console and just release it on the Switch Pro? Well, here's the thing, right? They're going to give you Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl come this end of the year, right? And then when it comes to earlier next year, they're going to give you Brilliant Diamond, or not Brilliant Diamond, sorry. They're going to give you Pokemon Legends Arceus, right? So they're going to make a ton of money off Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, and they're going to release Legends Arceus both in a certain amount of time that's pretty close to each other. And honestly, they probably wouldn't be losing much money at all. I mean, obviously they would be losing definitely a lot of money, but it also would incentivize people to go out and buy the Switch Pro. You saw what happened with Breath of the Wild, and even though Breath of the Wild wasn't even a, a exclusive to the Switch, it was pretty much an exclusive to the Switch. It got all sorts of people to buy it. So I think a similar thing could happen with Pokemon Legends Arceus. Here's the thing, right? Do I think that this is going to happen? I do not, okay? I really don't. And I don't want to sit here and pretend that I'm giving you all like a theory or something. I didn't come up with this idea. I actually saw people talking about this on Reddit and it kind of gave me an idea for a video I wanted to make. I wanted to make a video on this. But like I said, do I think this is going to happen? Definitely not for two reasons. Number one, because Game Freak and then the Pokemon company, everybody, they love money, right? I don't think they're going to miss an opportunity to make money. For example, they still made Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon on the Nintendo 3DS rather than moving it to the Switch because they didn't think that, you know, they weren't sure what was going on with Nintendo's home consoles yet. They didn't say that, but obviously let's be realistic here. They didn't put it on that console because they weren't sure if, you know, the Switch was going to succeed. And when they saw it succeed, then they came over, you know? And I think a similar thing is definitely going to happen with this. I don't think that Legends Arceus would ever be a Switch Pro exclusive. The second reasoning is is the fact that, you know, I think that we're seeing it running on a Switch, especially with the frame rate drops and everything that we saw in the trailer. I think for sure it must be running on some sort of Nintendo Switch or PC equivalent, you know, like holding back the hardware in order to get it to kind of perform similar to a Nintendo Switch. I think that was probably the case. So I don't want to say I'm debunking this because it is definitely a possibility. It's definitely something to think about. I don't know. Let me know down below what you all think about this. Like I said, I'm personally not buying this. I just don't think this is going to happen. But who knows? It could totally happen, and it could be the thing that incentivizes people to go out and buy that Nintendo Switch Pro if there's no other games coming besides Breath of the Wild 2. Maybe they want a crazy launch lineup. Maybe they want Breath of the Wild 2, Metroid Prime 4, and Pokemon Legends Arceus, and maybe none of them are Switch Pro exclusives, but they're all just going to encourage people to buy the console. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, don't forget to drop me a like, comment, maybe even consider subscribing to the channel. Again, thank you for watching, everybody. Jimmy out of here.